Hello, Tadrian Gonzalez. Welcome to Above the Fold, a segment here on Talking Logistics where we focus on a news item from the past week and raise a question for you to you know, provide your perspective on. And the news item that I picked this week was the announcement last week of FedEx introducing its FedEx same day bot. So this is kind of a delivery robot uh, that kind of looks like a Segway with a compartment on top and you know, uh, you know that's autonomous, that's able to uh, move uh, by itself down sidewalks to deliver you know, small packages to uh, you know, customer homes and you know, businesses. Uh, it actually debuted on uh, uh, you know, late night television. Uh, got a lot of attention you know, last week. Um, and actually it follows the announcement last month by Amazon and it's Amazon Scout uh, delivery robot. And that one looks more like a cooler with wheels on it that also uh, you know, is autonomous and moves down sidewalks to deliver you know, small packages to, uh, to customers as well. And certainly there's a number of other startups like Starship Technologies that are developing similar types of uh, delivery robots. So my question is, will these you know, small delivery robots that are designed to move along sidewalks, will they actually gain traction or will they end up in the trash heap of, uh, of ideas? Um, you know, I got to admit, uh, I'm a little bit pessimistic about their future. I mean, I, when you look at the videos of these robots, uh, they're in kind of idyllic suburban neighborhoods, quiet, virtually nobody on the streets, nice, bright, sunny days. Um, and, you know, those are just like almost perfect conditions that, you know, exist in a very finite number of areas. Um, you know, I always question, you know, what's going to happen when these robots come across a rowdy group of high school kids or college kids? or when there's ice and snow on the ground, like there is, you know, today here in Boston. Um, you know, I, th I think that, um, uh, you know, there's gonna be, you know, challenges, you know, along that front. Um, you know, this, the, in the case of the FedEx uh, robot, uh, it was developed in uh, collaboration with uh, Dean Kamen and the DECA Development uh, uh, and Research Corporation, which is the same, you know, inventor that came up with the Segway. And uh, if you remember when the Segway came out, actually before it came out, uh, people that had gotten a preview of it were writing all sorts of articles about how this was going to really transform and revolutionize mobility and how people got from point A to point B. And uh, you look to where it actually turned out to be today. And, you know, Segways are, you know, basically things that people rent when they go on tourist, uh, you know, the tourist rent when they go visit uh, certain locations or they're on college campuses. Um, you know, or they're, you know, used by mall cops. Um, so not really quite the transformation that I think a lot of people thought. And I think we're going to see the same thing here with these delivery robots. Um, but that's my opinion. Uh, what's yours? What do you think about the role of uh, these small delivery robots, particularly, you know, those that are meant to uh, move along, you know, sidewalks? I mean, I, I picture a future where, you know, if these things pick up, you know, you're going to have all sorts of robots uh, competing for walking space with us, us humans. So where are we going to end up going to walk? Um, so anyway, uh, that's my thought. Look forward to your opinions. Have a great day.